Greetings everybody and welcome to Publis' Thoughts. Today we're going to be talking about Transformers Rise of the Beast ending. Just set up the crossover of your dreams, allegedly. Uh, Transformers Rise of the Beast sets an absolutely crazy Hasbro crass crossover, yet there is more precedence for it than you realize. So, apparently, so this is going to be a real quick snippet here. Um... In the movie, when we first meet Noah Diaz, Anthony Ramos, he's a tech genius struggling to find a job and a purpose. By the end of Transformer Rise of the Beast, he's found a purpose by playing an important role in helping the Autobots and Maximals stop the Terracons from bringing the planet-destroying Unicron to Earth. But he, is still, but he still doesn't have a job. That is until he's approached by a man who knows what Noah has done for the planet and wants to recruit him. The name of the man on the business card is G.I. Joe. So, at this point, it looks like um, Transformers and G.I. Joe franchise are going to try and merge and make a, a bigger uh, franchise, which is interesting. I, you know, Hasbro and Transformers and G.I. Joe and all that stuff has always been my, uh, has always been, you know, uh, the area that I grew up in and all that. Um, but the G.I. The Joe reveal in, in the latest Transformers might have a better chance in a lot of ways um, than the MCU did or even DC did and stuff. Both those franchises right now are just completely wrecked. <clears throat> so is the Star Trek, so is the Star Wars and stuff like that. All these multi-universes. I think if they do do it, I think they should do it very lightly and careful and stuff like that. They could have done it with Ness and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And all that where the Transformers in the older movies and the other movies and stuff like that were working with with the humans and all that stuff. But um, I want to leave it right here at that. Um, oh, yeah, forgot to tell you, too. There's two lines ruled uh, and stuff like that, too, as well, that apparently Transformers did come across uh, G.I. Joe or somehow they... Uh, crisscross and stuff like that. But I don't remember back in the 80s and stuff like that. That was, I was only like eight, nine, ten years old and stuff like that. But um, this this area is my area. But I'm gonna follow up with this and stuff. Um, let me know what you think about this crossover. Do you want to see something like this? Do you just have had enough of the multi universes and all that stuff and all that? Um, let me know what you think down below. Take care, everybody. Peace out.